Hello! In this section of the Arrowhive Getting Started video series, I will guide you through uploading the configuration to APs. After your SSIDs have been configured, you can go to the Configure and Update Devices panel to upload the configuration, certificates, and captive web portal pages to your APs. By default, there is a filter that limits the display to the devices that have been assigned to the current network policy you are working on, which is displayed next to Configure Network Policy, and it also shows devices that have not been configured yet and are therefore assigned to the default policy template. Also note that we limit the items per page by default so that you should not have to scroll too much on a single page. By looking at the updated column, you can see an icon of a piece of paper with a red exclamation point. This lets you know that the Hive Manager configuration is not in sync with the APs configuration and you will need to upload the configuration to your APs. Ensure your devices are selected and click Upload. The first time you configure your devices, you are prompted to set the network policy on the devices to the current network policy. I will click Yes to continue. The first time you perform an upload, all the configuration and web pages are sent to the flash memory on the APs. APs have flash memory for storing the OS and configuration, and DRAM for running the OS and configuration. Therefore, if you want to run the configuration stored in flash, you will need to reboot the APs after they have been updated. Please wait a moment for the upload status indicator to show that the devices will need to be rebooted. Now, ensuring that the devices are selected, I will click Reboot. I'll read the warning message and click Yes. The Reboot Device Status window shows that all the devices have been rebooted. I can now close this window. Here you can see the upload status shows that the devices have been successfully updated and it shows the time when this happened. By default, for any further configuration update, Hive Manager will send a Delta configuration right to the running configuration of the access points, which takes effect immediately without a need for a reboot. It will take a few minutes for the access points to reboot and re-establish a connection with Hive Manager. To get more detailed status of the APs, select the link to go to Monitor All Devices. Then go to Access Points, Arrowhive APs. By default, each it will take a few minutes for the access points to reboot and re-establish a connection with Hive Manager. To get more detailed status of the APs, select the link to go to Monitor All Devices. Then go to Access Points, Arrowhive APs. By default, each AP will have an orange alarm. This lets you know that the AP is using a default management security key to communicate with Hive Manager. Hive Manager automatically generates a new management security key to communicate with APs which gets sent during the configuration update process. When the APs have reconnected to Hive Manager after the reboot, the alarm will go away because a new key will be used. When the alarm goes away and the audit column has a green check mark, you know that the configuration of the Hive Manager and APs are in sync. Finally, if you view the uptime column, you can see that it has started over again from zero, letting you know that the APs have been successfully rebooted, have re-established communication with Hive Manager, and are ready to accept connections to their SSIDs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. You can now proceed to the next video in the Getting Started series.